Hello and welcome back to my channel and another episode of my Cottage Living Rags to Riches Let's Play. So we're back here with Hope. Um, I did a little bit off screen, not too much, but you know, just went to the next day. Found a couple more mushrooms. So now we have another spicy mushroom. We still don't have any um, errands to complete. <laughs> so we are still on the hunt for mushrooms, but I will try and keep that to a minimum this episode so that it's not too repetitive um, and just, you know, periodically look myself without recording it. But yeah, we're still looking, we're looking for two lovely mushrooms, two spicy mushrooms, sorry, eight spicy mushrooms, and then we need to harvest some homegrown lettuce. First thing I want to do, though, is go to the village square and go to the stalls. Um, this episode, I would like to get a cow. I, that might be a little bit of an unrealistic goal, but we will see, because I know, I think the cow shed, I checked and it was like 500, um, which we're not far from. However, I don't know how much the cow itself is. We do still have a bunch of knitting on Plopsy, none of which is sold yet. You know, we've got a cow sweater up there and then four things that we made. One of which runs out today, um, the green hat. Some run out tomorrow, some run out on Saturday. Most run out on Saturday, rather. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit worried they're not going to sell. But we're going to sell some items at the grocery store. Okay, so we've got 122 for all of that. So we actually can buy a cow shed now. Um, I want to save up a few more hundred because I think a cow must be like three or four hundred. I can't remember offhand. Um, they did show it like in the live stream. I've seen it on like Game Changers videos, but I can't remember exactly offhand. But yeah, it seems a bit silly to buy a shed and not have anything to put in it yet. I also, I need to prioritise as well, like some kitchen stuff um, so that I can learn to cook. I could just learn to cook with the pub kitchen possibly. I can cook anything here because I don't have... The simple living lot trait's not here. I wonder if, if I turn, can I turn the simple living lot trait on here? So if I turn, I've turned the simple living lot trait on for the pub, and then what I could do, there we go, is sort of like role play almost, because obviously it's not, you know, a real thing. That because I've been helping Sarah out with so many errands, that she's let me use the kitchen. Um, obviously I've got to bring my own ingredients, but I'm allowed to just use the kitchen to learn to cook. And then I can hopefully increase my cooking skill a bit more so that I can bake some pies and enter that in next week's competition. Because we're not going to have anything for this week's, because we don't have any chickens and it's Thursday. But yeah, we could for next week's. We've got some stuff growing at home, and yeah, we can enter some pies, that would be good as well. So I think that's the goal for this episode is increase our cooking skill in order to learn to make pies and hopefully get a cow. And then other than that, it's just going to be continuing with the errands and um, maybe some knitting. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, you know, if our current knitting sells. There's no point in uh, knitting much more until this stuff's sold because it's almost a waste of time and money if it's not going to actually sell. Well, the other thing I want to see is does this shop have any of the mushrooms we need. Um, it doesn't, but it does have lettuce seeds, so we'll buy those because we need those for Agnes's errand. Oh, I forgot about our little fish. You need to give the fish a name as well. Uh, right, farming plot. Um, let's put it just here. I'm just keeping everything together for now so that I don't lose it. Um, and then plant oversized crop lettuce. There we go. Perfect. It doesn't need watering. Oh, maybe... Does it need watering? It's raining. I'll water them anyway. Hopefully I don't drown them. I don't know how long it takes to grow, but you know, that can be for our Agnes errand. Right, let's head back to the pub. I want to see the um, list of things we can cook in the pub because I, I don't know if there's anything we can cook with just the stuff we have or like what we would need to buy. I think we'll only just cook like one thing at a time for now because because we don't have a... F well, I suppose we could keep them in the fridge here. I suppose that would be if Sarah's letting us use the kitchen, she'd let us use the fridge as well. Um, I don't know if, you know, they'll disappear, but I suppose if we're just working on our cooking skill, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, hello. Um, so we could make mac and cheese, but, um, it's going to be quite expensive. Let's just buy four of each, and then we can make four portions of mac and cheese, and we can keep it in the fridge. And we'll do it all individually so that we can increase our cooking skill a bit quicker. So, we'll, yeah, we'll just do four single servings. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. I assumed that making more portions would take a lot more things. So actually, if I wanted to make a pie size one, I'd just need one more cheese and one more milk rather than four flour and four cheese. I mean, that's okay. For now, we're just working on a cooking skill so we can afford to be... Well, we can't really afford to be wasteful, but we will be anyway. <laughs> right, and then we'll put that... Um, well, we'll just drag that into the... Oh. Can we not drag that into the fridge? 
Okay, so we can't jump it into the fridge. Okay, so the cheese lasts for 10 days and I've got four cheese. So what I might do instead is just put this in our inventory. Um, we'll eat that later and then we'll just, you know, cook as and when we need it because the cheese lasts a long time and obviously flour doesn't go out of date. I am a bit confused though that I didn't use any cheese. I bought four. Oh wait, okay, cheese has eight servings. Well, <laughs> okay, so we, <laughs> so flour has one serving and I've bought four lots of cheese that each have eight servings and I've used one of each which is a bit confusing. I I'm not really sure how this works. This is all new to me. Um, so either you need one serving and it's just bugged out and taken it from all, or you need four servings of cheese. Either way, we've got a lot of cheese, so that's fine. Um, so we'll have that mac and cheese later and we can, you know, come back here and cook when we, as and when we need it, because we don't need to go overboard because everything's going to run out of date and I thought we could maybe put stuff in this fridge, but we can't, which makes sense, you know, that's not a huge surprise. So I think the best thing to do now is to head back to Bramblewood and um, while we're here, I will keep looking for mushrooms as well. Oh, a spicy mushroom. Perfect, so now we've got six, so we can actually we can actually do something now. Um, so we need to find the creature keeper and deliver the mushrooms to him. He's over here, still cooking. When I, I didn't film it, but when I first came on here, he was cooking. This looks like a plate. There's a baked potato, there's a veggie burger, there's two lots of baked potatoes. And what, she's going to put this down in that pile as well. It's just a mash of everything. Um, let's deliver him the spicy mushrooms. Oh. You know what? I fell for this once before. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a thousand simoleons, but Bess, you can get fucked this time. I'm not I'm not playing that game this time. <laughs> if I give these berries and mushrooms a bit of a mash, we'll have a concoction that will be sure to twist your taste buds. Here, give this a taste. Um, so does that mean we have mushroom mash? Oh, we do. We're not really hungry yet, but um, maybe it's just like the samplers from the pub. So it's just like, you know, a tiny bit. We'll see. Wait a second. <laughs> Talk to a flock of birds while mashed. See, I just... <laughs> I named I named my last episode um, the search for shrooms. I thought it would be like a bit of a joke, like oh, you know, we're looking for mushrooms in the forest. What if one of them's psychedelic? Apparently they are. <laughs> Apparently that wasn't even a joke. That's just how it is. Jesus. Okay. Um, where's a bird tree? Oh, there's one over here. Talk to and really listen. <laughs> okay, I love this. My friend Jay has been going through this phase recently and trying to sing or angsty or something. You hate to see it. So now I've got to um, report back to the creature keeper. <laughs> Admit hearing the birds. I mean, it, it sounds like she's like a little bit ashamed of it, but he knew what he gave her. <laughs> I'm sure he's been hearing the birds plenty as well. My friend, I think you've come to see the forest through the trees. Happy trails until our paths cross again. <laughs> that was an interesting errand. I can, I'll say that much. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go back to town and find somebody somebody else to have an errand for. Okay, who's around other than Sarah? Oh, we could do... Have we met Agatha yet? Oh, we have. Uh, let's see what your errands are. Oh, interesting. Okay, so <laughs> it seems that Agatha might be a bit of a gossip. Do you know who's always around the listening of the gnomes? Find a local gnome and ask them for some gossip, then let's have a sweet treat to celebrate afterwards. You know what else would help? Find me some single sims. I'm always looking for my next matchmaking project. Oh, okay. <laughs> talk to a gnome. I've seen some gnomes around, but I didn't know that you could talk to them. Or maybe you can't. Maybe it's just because of the errands. I think she might still be a little bit mashed. Hope gave a discussion with the gnome a proper go, nothing happened. She better dream up something satisfactory to report back to Agatha. Okay, well at least this time the gnome didn't talk back. The gnome stumbled across two villagers doing what inside an animal shed? Oh my, you'll make an old lady blush. I can't wait to tell the hens about this on our cross-stitch meetup. Okay, so now we need to deliver a dessert to Agatha and find two single sims. Okay, so who should we match make? Who do we know that's single? Oh, Cecilia is, isn't she? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going invite, to invite over Cecilia. Um, unless she's here. Oh, she's here. She's up here. Well, first of all, let's ask her if she is single. Because I think she is, but that's really just going by memory. Okay, Cecilia is single. Um, what about you, Rami Watson? Oh, wait. Isn't she the one? I think she's married to somebody. Thomas? Thomas Watson. But don't they hate each other or something? Let's have this conversation in the bathroom. That's a totally normal thing to do. Okay, yeah, Rami's married. Would you like to be single? You know what? Let's, let's not be a um, home wrecker today. What about you? Are you single? Oh, we're dragging her all the way up here. That hardly seems fair, but that's fine. 
Come join us in the bathroom. Okay, Kim is single. Interesting. So perhaps we can matchmake Kim and Cecilia. Okay, so we need to make a dessert. So let's go find what ingredients we need for some kind of dessert. And then we will report back. Oh, okay, that closes. Do you... Oh, you're closed as well. We'll do that tomorrow then. I don't know if Agatha is still around. We can still report on the single sims if she's still here. No, she's not. Okay, we'll deal with that all tomorrow. I'm not sure if um, sleeping in a thunderstorm is the best idea, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> well, we survived, so that's the main thing. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the pub and make ourselves some breakfast, which is going to be mac and cheese because that's what we have the ingredients to make. Oh, somebody wants to purchase our beanie. Um, we better do that one first, actually, because that runs out quite soon. I don't know if it'll um, automatically come off or not. So what we'll do instead is we'll finish eating, we'll run home, we'll put the beanie in the post, and then we'll deal with Agatha's thing. Right, beanie is posted, plants all seem fine. So let's head back to the pub. I'm just thinking about how the game will register it. It might well be that we need to make something with sugar. So I might well instead bake something, buy some sugar as well and make um, like sugar cookies or something, because that's definitely going to be sweet. All right, so let's put those into our inventory. Um, and find Agatha and hopefully that works. Um, so she's tending the garden shop right now. Oh, deliver dessert. Apparently cheese on its own is a dessert. <laughs> so let's deliver the sugar cookies and then we can gossip all about the two sims we found and hopefully she'll go and match make them. Right, there's your sugar cookies. So um, here's the lowdown. <laughs> Could the message from the gnomes be any clearer? Love is in the air or at least it will be once I sprinkle a little of my matchmaking magic. Back up my dear, we're in this together now. Come see me again when you're ready for our next undertaking. <laughs> I love Agatha. <laughs> I've already decided, she's so sweet. Um, out of curiosity, what is your next undertaking? Okay, well we don't really need any of these rewards, but that is quite a lot of money. Um, it sounds like we're gonna help her matchmake now. <laughs> Love is in the air, can you feel it? Well perhaps it needs a slight nudge from yours truly, Hemphill and Bagley's own self-appointed matchmaker. Roses are known to help budding relationships blossom and I've entrusted you with two of them. Offer them to two single sims who would make the perfect pair and see if they fall for each other. I also need your help setting some extra inventory Agnes and I have at our garden, sh our garden shop. It's simple really. You'll buy my overstocked seeds at an extraordinarily fair price. Okay. Okay, but not sure the sound of that, but okay. And then you'll speak to a number of other sims about this exciting opportunity to sell surplus seeds. Get enough sims on board and we'll all be dwelling in the green. Okay, fair enough. So offer roses to two single sims and buy extra seeds from Agatha Crumblebottom. So, well, we already know who the single sims are, so let's go do that. Well, that went well. Okay, where's Cecilia? Is she still in the pub? Okay, she's not here, but we'll invite her over. Um, let's offer her the roses as well then. Oh, they both seem well up for it. Things are all progressing according to Agatha's plan. With two single sims having accepted a rose, it's time Hope took a more direct role in enacting Agatha's machinations. Now to gather them together for the next step. Why am I thought Agatha was the matchmaker. Why am I doing all of this? <laughs> encourage one sim who received a rose to flirt with the other sim. Oh, well, while we're here, might as well just ask you. So encourage you to flirt with Kim. There we go. <laughs> Socially distanced, of course. Right, let's go buy those extra seeds now. So how do I tell what I'm gonna buy? Do I, oh, do I maybe click on you instead? I'll buy extra seeds, there we go. Okay, so now I need to sell three letter seeds to other sims. So who might be interested? Um, what about to Kim? I'm guessing that's a no. It did say that some might need warming up to, but I'm not sure how to do that, unless it means I've just got to become friends with them. Oh, he bought some. Okay, awesome. So I do just have to keep, you know, trying different sims. We sell some to your mother as well. Oh yeah. Okay, so they clearly like lettuce seeds as a family. I wonder if I can find Agnes. Let's invite Agnes over because she was talking about wanting lettuce, so she might want more lettuce seeds as well. It's her shop that we bought them from, but you never know. Agnes, is that you? Oh, she is a witch. Let's try and sell Agnes her own lettuce seeds then. Bit of a scam, but you never know. Oh, she did. I don't want to be part of that conversation later where they um, discuss what happened, but that's fine. Hello, dearie. It's Agatha giving you a ring. Thanks to your adept seed salemanship, things are looking pretty good. Swing by for the next step in this business plan of ours. Okay, now I've got to buy extra plants. Okay, now we've got to sell watermelons. Agnes, would you like a watermelon? 
Oh, okay. She's drawing the line. I purchased something from you recently, did I not? Regardless, there's nothing I need right now. Okay, so I can't sell to the same people. Got it. I might come back and finish tomorrow because, um, I mean, the, the shops have closed now anyway. Then I'm going to go back to Bramblewood again, look for some more mushrooms because that's an ongoing thing at the moment. Um, and then Hope could do with some more fun. So I don't know if I can maybe find Egg and play with Egg a bit more. I don't know why, we can't interact with Egg anymore. The only thing we can do is show them a dance move, but we, like, they haven't moved from this spot in days. I don't know how to do anything with them. Right, I've tried to reset them with testing sheets, so I'm hoping that does something, but it doesn't seem to have. I don't know why they haven't moved from this spot. Perhaps, hang on, let's go back to the home lot. I know that I'm saving up money for a cow, and I think we can afford that anyway. But um, what if I put a rabbit stuff on my home lot? Maybe maybe they're like attached to the stump or something and haven't put it down yet. Okay, that's 400, so that's fine. Um, and let's put him over here. Hopefully, Egg will move here. And if not, we'll just have a new rabbit friend, I guess. It's so peaceful when the rain just stops like that. Oh, Jesus. I just looked in the... Um, the doctor's fez that's 986 that was i can't remember where i got that from that was a gift or something wasn't it jesus we're loaded well we can definitely get a cow now let's just put it over here for now um and purchase animal okay do we want a brown cow or a spotted cow um let's get a brown cow and that is the first part of our aspiration done is he gonna come out hey hello <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, let's give you a name. Let's call you How Now. How Now Brown Cow. Oh, <laughs> fertilize three plants or oversized crops. Of course, I did that literally. <gasps> oh, is that egg? Oh, I got excited. You're not egg. That's okay. You look just like him, though. I think egg's broken. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait to name you until we get your gift. See if that helps guide us at all. But I, I genuinely thought that was Egg. I was so excited. I mean, you're cute as well. I don't want to make you feel bad, but um, you're not Egg. I'm sorry. I love as well how my priority... I'm doing a rags to riches and my priority are rabbits and cows. I haven't even got a toilet yet, but I've bought myself a cow. So, um, and I don't regret it. <laughs> I think my priorities are in exactly the right place. Okay, can we milk her already? Oh, we can. You're missing. You're not very good at aiming, are you? Okay, let's go, because I've got some things that might spoil. Um, so let's go to the stalls in the in the village square. Um, and then we can also carry on with Agatha's thing. Oh, and we need to make something to eat as well. Um, I did also notice I must have made a mistake with the cheese, because I thought it had 10 days, and now it's got less than 2 hours. So I'm going to sell the cheese. Oh, I've made a loss, but it's better than it going off. And then, I'm, yeah, I'm going to sell some other things as well. All right, let's get back to selling watermelons. Sarah wanted one today. I don't think she wanted one yesterday. Unless I just didn't ask, I don't remember. Let's see if we can sell one to Sarah's husband as well. Because, you know, it's a bit scummy, but if they both needed a watermelon, or if, you know, they needed a watermelon between them, he hasn't had a chance to talk to her yet, so he doesn't necessarily know that she's bought one. I mean, she could have texted him, I suppose. <laughs> she didn't. Now they have two. Um, oh, we've got to sell four this time. Okay, fair enough. And that's number four sold. And we are done. Agatha here again. I see Simoleon streaming into my account, so you must be up to something good. The sales business suits you, my dear. Once you've put a bow on everything I asked of you, make your way over here so we can celebrate. Celebrate with Agatha. There we go. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> fair enough. Oh dearie, what a day. Those two young uns will be falling for each other any minute now. I know how to pick them. I, I mean, I picked them and I did all the, the work. So I'm... Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Um, up and down the river Bagley, old Agatha has spotted every future pair of lovebirds before even Cupid himself knew what was coming. But that's neither here nor there. Thanks to you, my business is booming and I've got some simoleons burning a hole in my pocket. Ta-ta. Oh, and we've got a sentiment with Agatha. Close from helping out. I love that. I do like Ag Agatha. Let's have a gossip. Because she seems like that kind of person. <laughs> What we can do is see if Kim has any errands. I don't think we've done any of hers yet. Okay, so I'm going to avoid that one because the rewards are all a bunch of things that can expire. But we could do this one, um, getting some fresh ingredients. 
I'm no spring chicken. Every day that passes is a day I grow older. I can swear I hear my bones creaking. Girl, same. Would you please be a dear and bring me some milk to help me feel good and strong? <laughs> sure. Actually, sure, I can do that because I have a cow now. I don't have any on me because I'm pretty sure I sold it. But we can go back to the cow. I don't know how often you can milk, milk a cow, whether it's just like once a day. That would make sense. Can this be used as a table? Oh, it can. We can put the fish on top of the stump. I love that. Oh, you're going to bed? Okay, bye. Good night. Um, speaking of going to bed, we should probably buy a bed and start sleeping on our home lot. <laughs> um, I mean, to be more realistic, we should just buy a tent, right? And um, we'll just get a cheap one. We don't need a super expensive one. We can just put it here and sleep outside with our animals. Good morning, cow. Okay, you need a, a clean already. If we only had you a day, I don't know how you've got so dirty already. <laughs> Is that relaxing? We can milk you as well, and then we can uh, give that to Kim. Oh, it is also the first day of autumn, so um, a lot of these are out of season now. So we need to go through our inventory, I think, and uh, figure out what we have that we've planted already and what still needs to be planted. We might as well just plant everything, even if it's out of season, right? Um, we can plant the flowers as well, because I also want to do flower arranging in the future. I'm just planting everything, I'm going to water everything, and then whatever is harvestable is harvestable. The other thing I do want to do though, as it's new skill day, that would really be the perfect opportunity to buy a cross stitching basket, wouldn't it? And learn to cross stitch. Oh, apparently <laughs> she just hit gardening level three. Apparently that counted as a new skill, but that's okay. Um, we can still cross stitch. The only thing is when does the lovely mushroom, um, when is it in season? That's actually in season. The fact that it wasn't in season all summer might be why we didn't find any in the wild. So we might have more luck finding them in the wild now. Okay, first off, let's deliver Kim those bottles of milk and then we can sell a bunch of stuff. I appreciate the value of a full day's work. The grocery shop doesn't run itself after all. Believe me when I say how much I appreciate the effort you must have undertaken to gather the animal byproducts that keep the stall shelves stocked until our paths cross again. Um, right, let's try and find another errand let's see if the mayor wants anything um right let's do this one because that has more money and i think that i'm gonna start focusing on money a bit more now because then we can like actually build a, a small house anyway and you know instead of just living out of a tent but you know the cow has a better home than we do there's a sim out there right now gifting delicious pies when we all least expect it we'll be minding our own business and suddenly bam there's a pie it's disconcerting and delicious and i need you to ferret out who it may be ask around so be aware that confessing to this sort of thing isn't something someone just does while i trust our villagers to not lie to your face you may need to get in the good graces before they come clean to find the mystery gifter well agatha likes a gossip so let's see if she knows anything i'm not sure why anybody would be like secretive about that i mean like it's a nice surprise but i don't know why they would like deny it <laughs> well that was easy oh you got me i am the mystery gifter i have been all this time that wasn't anywhere near as hard as i was expecting it to be <laughs> Uh, where's the mayor gone? I found the mystery gifter. It was Agatha. Mystery solved. Ah, well done. A good bit of deduction indeed. Now what say we give that gifter a gift of our own to settle the score? I've given you just the pie to do it. A meat pie. Sounds almost like she just didn't like the pie and she just wants to return it. In a town where there are no strangers, you'll find that everyone still has their secrets. You've cast light on something particularly intriguing today though, and for that I thank you. That was the easiest 250 quid I ever made. Uh, I think that I'm going to go back to Bramblewood. Um, we'll see if any new mushrooms have spawned and if not we'll just cross stitch for a bit because we haven't cross stitched yet today and I said I was going to do that um, for new skill day. I mean we've completed new skill day anyway so it doesn't matter but we do want to start cross stitching anyway. Let's come sit over here. This is a beautiful spot. Um, apparently I can't use the cross stitch basket. Let's go back to our home lot and let's put it out on the floor. Okay now we can stitch. We can't stitch when it's in the inventory okay so we can only stitch on the home lot. So let's stitch... Let's stitch a lettuce. Okay, so I think what happens is the cross stitch basket, yeah, so we've got a started cross stitch there. So we can only start new things from the cross stitch basket here on the home lot, but then we can take the hoop anywhere. So a bit strange, but okay. Oh, I suppose we can buy hoops on their own. What's the point in having the basket then? Is it just like a decoration thing? Maybe. We'll keep it anyway. Okay, so the rabbit gave us a catfish. 
you know, it makes sense because you are catfishing egg after all. Um, right, let's go back into town. Again, lot of to in and froing. It seems to be the case here. Um, let's sell the catfish because we're not going to eat it because we're a vegetarian. And then we can find a nice little place to sit down and do some cross-stitching. Um, and on that note, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So if you are here, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you soon.